Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Bears versus 49ers NFL Week 1 matchup on Sunday, September 11, 2022. Here on YouTube, I do tons of free pick videos, so be sure to subscribe to our channel. We do free picks every day, SportsChatPlace.com, PickDogs.com, right here on YouTube as well as across social media and our live shows. And when you give out that many free picks, you're bound to like some games more than others and to find out which games those are, as well as to get best bets from some of the top handicappers in the world today. Head on over to our website, pickdogs.com. Click on the premium picks tab. And while you're there, be sure to use the discount code WIN15. That's W-I-N-1-5. Get 15% off all of your purchases at pickdogs.com and sportschatplace.com. But let's get to this one. We've got the Bears taking on the 49ers and, you know, Really, not a lot of expectations from the Bears and the 49ers. It's been kind of a weird offseason for them where they, you know, last year, even when Garoppolo was playing for the 49ers, much of the talk was how he wasn't going to be with the team this year. And here he is back with the team. And I'm not saying that, you know, having a backup quarterback like Jimmy Garoppolo, who was the starter, is a bad thing at all. But it's like if you're going to put your faith into your starting quarterback, who's, you know, Trey Lance, who is far from perfect from what we've seen from him so far. The last thing you want is to have some guy on the bench that you know could come in and play and has started meaningful games for you in the past because now all of a sudden, every little every little mistake that Lance makes, every little thing he does is going to be magnified because should we put Jimmy G in? Hey, they should put Jimmy G in, right? Anytime Lance has problems, that's what we're going to hear and that's what we're going to see in the 49ers. They knew that, and that's why they wanted to move Jimmy G. They just got probably a little bit greedy for their asking price, and no one was willing to pay it for a guy that they knew, that everybody knew they wanted to get rid of. So the thing is, is that it's not just Trey Lance. He has a lot of help there, and of course, on the defensive line, uh, the Niners drafted high for a very long time, and have a sick defense, you know, Boza, you know, Lee anchoring, anchoring that D. But of course, the Chicago Bears, this is its town, a city, this team, it's always going to be defense first, and that just is the Chicago Bears and, and who they are. I mean, they had Walter Payton. It was still the Bears, right, defense. And that is, you know, just the identity of this franchise, and they like it that way. And the thing is, is that, you know, Justin Fields, you know, the, the other quarterback in, in, this, in this scenario and in this game, way better than I thought he was going to be at the NFL level. Of course, he was good at Ohio State. I thought he was good at Georgia before he transferred to Ohio State, just in a weird battle there for for starting QB. You know, and he ended up transferring, and he did just fine at Ohio State. And I'll tell you, a lot better than I thought he would be at the Bears, and he's only going to be better this year. And when you look at him compared to Trey Lance, he's way better than Trey Lance. Trey Lance has some serious issues here, and the one for one is when he throws the football, Generally, he throws it right at the defender. And when you see Trey Lance, even in these preseason games, complete these long touchdown passes that you show up on the stat sheet, it's normally like a four-yard dunk where the wide receiver just runs down the field. That's not going to get it done against the Bears. I'm taking the points here in Chicago with the Bears, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks today, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. Our betting tools are 100% free, and the way they work, they show you just how often all the different bets on the board today actually hit. Then they show you today's odds, and from there, you can easily assess the risk-reward scenario, putting yourself on the bets that come in the most often and pay the most, and that's how you make money betting on sports.